in this video i will show you an example of phase difference this will be the first example out of four examples here i will show you how to calculate the phase difference by using the trigonometric waveform after that i will draw the alternating waveforms in the graph and show you that we can calculate the waveform by using graphical method and at last i will show you how do we calculate the phase difference using complex plane okay find the phase relationship between the following two waveforms here this v is equal to 10 sin omega t plus 30 degree and current i equal to 5 sin omega t plus 70 degree see both are alternating quantities therefore we can find the phase relationship between these two waveforms when we will have two alternating quantities and we have to find the phase relationship between them at first we will convert those waveform in the shape of a m sin omega t plus or minus phi here look at the waveform of voltage and current here you will see they are in the shape of a m sin omega t plus or minus phi this a m is the maximum value of the alternating quantity omega is the angular frequency t is the instantaneous time and this phi is the initial phase of the voltage or current now look at the alternating voltage here you will see the maximum magnitude of this voltage will be 10 and the maximum magnitude of the current will be 5 now look at the initial phase of the voltage here you will see the initial phase of the voltage let's say I denote that with phi v that will be 30 degree and the initial phase of the current let's say I denote that with phi i that will be equal to 70 degree now see the phase angle or initial phase is 70 degree that means with respect to a fixed reference axis the origin of the current will be 70 degree away from that reference axis and the initial phase angle is equal to 30 degree that means our initial phase or the origin of the voltage will be 30 degree away from that reference point therefore you will see the phase difference between the voltage and current will be the angular distance between the origin of the current and voltage and obviously as the initial angle of the current is greater than the initial angle of the voltage our i will lead now what will be the angle here you will see the phase difference phi d will be equal to as the phase angle of the as the initial phase of the current is greater than the initial phase of the voltage here you will see the phase difference will be 40 degree therefore I can say I leads V by 40 degree now I will show you how do we calculate the phase difference and the phase relationship between two waveforms by drawing those waveforms here you will see the maximum magnitude of the voltage will be 10 therefore let's say in the y axis I'm considering the magnitude it is plus 5 and this is plus 10 and this is our origin so this will be let's say minus 5 and this will be minus 10 okay now see here the initial phase of the voltage will be at 30 degree that means the that means the origin will be 30 degree ahead from the reference axis and here you will see i is equal to 70 degree that means the origin of the current i will be 70 degree ahead from the reference axis that means the origin of the voltage and currents will be in the left side therefore let's say i am denoting this x axis with omega t and i am taking the angles by by displacement of 30 so this will be 0 this will be minus 30 this will be minus 60 and this will be minus 90 okay this is 0 this is 30 this is 60 this is 90 120 150 180 
360. You may know that an alternating or sinusoidal quantity reaches its maximum value at the angular dis distance of 90 degree. After 90 degree or at the angle of 180 degree it comes to zero. At an angle of 270 degree from its origin it reaches at its negative maximum and at an angle of 360 degree from the origin it comes to its zero value. Now let me draw the waveform of the voltage. Here it is 10 sin omega t plus 30 degree plus 30 degree that means I have to calculate the angle from the left side here plus 30 degree that means our origin of the voltage will be at this point okay so from this point I have to go to 90 degree to get the maximum value of this alternating voltage so from this point I'm I'm moving towards right 0 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree at this point our alternating voltage will go through positive maximum from this point to another 90 degree I will get the zero value of the alternating voltage 0 30 60 90 see from this point to this point the angular displacement will be 180 degrees so our alternating voltage will be at zero now from this point I have to go through another 90 degree and at this and at that point our alternating voltage will go through negative maximum 0 30 60 90 at this point our alternating voltage will have its negative maximum okay and this point has an angular distance from this origin equal to 270 degree 0 30 60 90 and this will be the th 360 degree distance from this origin therefore at this point our alternating voltage will have a magnitude of 0 now if I join the points you will see I will get a sinusoidal waveform so this will be our alternating voltage V now let me draw the waveform of the current here you will see the initial phase of the current will be plus 70 degree that means the origin of this alternating current will be 70 degree left from this origin 0 30 60 so the origin will be at the point of minus 70 degree now from this point to after 90 degree I will get the positive maximum 0 10 40 70 90 here our alternating current will go through positive maximum 0 10 40 70 90 see at this point the, the angular distance from this point to this point will be 180 degree so our alternating current will go our alternating current will come to zero value see from this point to after 90 degree our alternating current will have a value of minus 5 0 10 40 70 90 okay here our alternating current will have a value of minus 5 after 90 degree our alternating current will go will come to zero value 10 40 70 90 see the angular distance between this point to this point will be 360 degree now if I join the points I will I will get this alternating sinusoidal current now look at the origin of the voltage and origin of the current this is at minus 30 degree and this is at minus 70 degree so the phase difference will be the angular distance between the origin of the two waveforms here you will see the angular distance will be phi d which will be 40 degree and see the origin of the alternating current is 40 degree ahead of the origin of the voltage therefore I can say that I leads V by 40 degree now let me show you how do we calculate the phase difference using complex sine cosine plane we can also calculate the phase difference by using this plane see here we have V equal to sine omega t plus 30 degree if I convert this sine wave into a phasor form I will get 10 phase angle will be 30 degree this indicates the magnitude of this voltage and this indicates the initial phase of the voltage if I convert this current into phasor form I will get 5 phase angle will be 70 degree okay this is our sine cosine plane here you will see this is our sine omega t that means here initial phase phi is equal to 
0 degree. If I rotate in counterclockwise direction, our angle will be positive. If I rotate in clockwise direction, our angle will be negative. Okay, now see the magnitude of the voltage is 10 and angle is 30 degree. Let's say I start rotating from this point and let's say I, I have rotated at an angle of 30 degree. Therefore, I can locate the voltage phasor in this axis. Let's say this is that voltage phasor in this direction. This will be a straight line with magnitude V equal to 10. Now to locate current I phasor, I have to rotate in counterclockwise direction by an angle of 70 degree. Okay. Let's say this is that 70 degree and the phasor of the current is this phasor the magnitude of the current is 5 here you will see this will be 30 degree this will be here you will see this will be 30 degree and this will be 70 degree therefore the phase difference or angular dif distance between these two will be 40 degree see here if i want to go from this voltage to this current phasor i have to rotate in counterclockwise direction by an amount of plus 40 degree this indicates that with respect to this voltage v our current i leads it by an angle 40 degree 